Tutorial number three. Copy feature, spot check, and reports. Welcome to the Skyview Network's fast web automation tutorial for section three. In this tutorial, we will explore how to use the copy features, run and read a spot check, and how to utilize the reports features. All of the features we will explore in this tutorial are located in the upper right hand region of the main screen. Let's start by looking at the copy buttons across the top row. Copy last game, copy breaks, and copy games. These copy features can be used after rotations and breaks are scheduled for one broadcast. This information can then be copied into other games throughout the season. The copy last game button copies all scheduled breaks from the previous broadcast into the game date you have highlighted in calendar view. The Copy Breaks button allows you to copy a group of specified breaks into upcoming games. Clicking the Copy Breaks button brings up a window that allows you to choose the breaks and the time frame to copy the spots forward. Start by choosing a break, then select your dates, and then select the frequency from the Copy to Every drop-down. This will allow you to copy the breaks into every second game, third game, etc. You will also notice the Start of Season and End of Season buttons. These will select your dates from the first game to the last game of the season. Once you have your breaks selected, click OK to update. Make sure to wait until the loading screen completes before you click on any other menu buttons. The Copy Games button will bring up a similar window. Select your dates and click OK to copy the entire game's breaks forward to other games. Now let's move on to the Spot Check features. Spot Check is a feature that allows you to verify that all breaks are scheduled and that audio for these spots are uploaded. Spot Check will also warn you if breaks are over or under the scheduled time, if audio is not loaded, and if spots are scheduled out of flight. There are three different spot checks you can utilize. These buttons are located under the Copy buttons. Your options include Spot Check, Check Today, and Check Next 3. Let's first look at the Check Today report. With the broadcast date highlighted in Calendar View, you can click the Check Today button to generate the spot check for that day. A new window will appear with the spot check report displayed. At first, the report is completely minimized. This allows you to expand breaks as you move through the report. The Expand All button will allow you to open all of the breaks. The Hide All button allows you to minimize all the breaks. Any green icon displayed next to an element signifies that component is ready to be played, as is and requires no further attention. A yellow icon indicates a warning. This piece will play as is, however, it differs in some way from what the system expects. An example of this would be a break that is slightly over or under the expected break length. A red icon designates a component that needs to be modified in some way. These elements will not play unless some action is taken to rectify the issue the report has displayed. The Show Bonus and Show Problems buttons allow you to look specifically at only the bonus or problem spots. Now let's look back to the main screen and review the other two Spot Check buttons. The Check Next 3 button also performs the same report as Spot Check. When in Calendar View, Highlight the first day you would like to check. Then click the Check Next 3 button. It will generate a spot check report for the highlighted broadcast and the next two broadcasts. The Spot Check button will bring up a blank spot check menu. This menu shows several buttons that allow you to pull spot check information in different parameters. In order to populate the report, click on the One Day or From To button. This will allow you to pull the game logs you are interested in verifying. Now let's look at the reporting and copy features. These features allow you to pull information directly from the system. These include scheduling reports, as played reports, and affidavit generation. 
The three report buttons are located under the row of spot check buttons and include the scheduled report, played report, and station affidavits buttons. Each button pulls a different kind of report, but the process for selecting the information is the same. Let's create a scheduled report. The scheduled report button opens the report management screen. The report management screen displays a from and to calendar, which allows you to choose the date range to run the report. Only active broadcast dates are selectable. You will notice dates that are grayed out do not have broadcast and are not selectable. Below the from calendar is a list of rotations. This list allows you to select what rotations you would like to include in the report. As you click on the rotations, they will turn deep blue to show they have been selected for the report. The list next to the rotations window contains the network listings, which allows you to choose a report based on the network or broadcast. To generate the report, click the Print button. This will pull the report and display it on your screen. When the report generates, it will look like this. This report system allows for multiple pages. Move through the pages by clicking the arrows at the top of the report. Notice the buttons at the top left of the screen that allow you to export the report to various document types. These include, but not limited to, a Word, Excel, PDF, and CSV document. The two additional report options from the main screen can be created in a similar manner. When generated, the played report looks very similar to the scheduled report, However, this report's data shows when the rotation and spots were played in the past. The Station Affidavits button generates as-played affidavits for each advertiser listed in the system and when its spots aired. This report shows proof of performance for the client and is a document the accounting department can include with their invoice. This concludes the tutorial for the spot check and the report buttons.